All right, guys, here's something you don't see on my channel very often. Watch craftsmanship out of Scotland. So this is the Anordain Model 2 sent in by my buddy Neil. And let's take a look at this real quick before we get into the watch. So if you want to pause this, you can read this, or you can just click the link in the description and you can go to their website. And, um, and I'll repeat some of this information too, such as the movement. Actually, I'll just tell you right now. It's the... Uh, Salida SW210 hand wind movement and uh, you know there's some case information there but the big attraction of this watch really is well it's smaller size but more importantly the handmade enamel dial that's laid over a uh, copper I think they use a copper plate and then they finish that up and then they make the enamel down so we'll take a look at that as we're talking about it so size wise we're looking at 36 millimeter 43, so a really nice, small, compact size that a lot of people desire. 11 millimeter thick, including that double domed sapphire crystal with six layers of anti reflective coating on the underside. 18 millimeter lug width there. For being a smaller watch, it actually is a little bit of a chunk of steel here. It actually has a nice weight to it. You can see it has screw down case back, or screwed down, I should say. Um, and then their logo, I'll show you on another, on their uh, packaging too, it says old crafts, new hands. So basically showing, um, you know, you have newer people that are in the watch industry making old world crafts. So it's uh, pretty, pretty cool. And they're using, you know, traditional techniques to accomplish a very high level of um, craftsmanship here. So really nice case shape on this, beautiful all brushed finish. And then this one has the gray dial. There's, I think, six variations that you can get of different enamel uh, dials on this. And uh, not a whole lot of gray ones, from what I understand. A lot of people typically go after the colored ones um, for, the, you know, for a little more vivid wrist presence. But this one's very subdued and clean looking. We'll do some close-ups in a minute. Uh, um, reading right from the website, basically, it takes them about 12 hours to make one of these dials. So... That's where you're getting a lot of the labor cost on this. I'm not sure where the cases are made, but um, these do push up on price a little bit. I think they're around the $1,000 mark. It's, you'd have to do the conversion. Again, look, look at the link in the description. The water resistance is only 5 Atmos. Push-pull crown. Nice signed crown. Neil put it on this Barton Elite silicone. So with 18 millimeter, it's a little more common than people think. I mean, you can get some... Uh, Melanese straps for it or something um, but it also came with I think he selected you can get this really nice suede strap which is probably crazy comfortable on this guy here because it's a very nicely made one or you can get this more glossy type leather look here too which is going to dress it up a bit so nice hardware has a stitched in keeper and then a floating keeper and they do have the leather as branded there and ordain and then the captured quick release pins but I'm going to keep it on this Barton because I think that makes it more like everyday sporty looking. So we'll definitely check it out on that. So if we do a close-up on here, you can see there is a little bit of loom on the very tips of those skeletonized hands. Those are pretty cool looking hands. I like that. And they, they reach out there far enough where you're going to be able to tell the time, no problem. And they are different lengths. But check out the enamel work on that dial. That is pretty wild. It almost it has like some depth. Sometimes you look at enamel dial and it looks more like, um, I don't want to pick on like, uh, or make it downgrade of what it really is, but you know, like enamel finish on some appliances and stuff where it just has like that uh, orange peel look. This one doesn't seem to have that. This one has more of like a, um, a natural stone depth to it. So I like this. However they're doing it, it is a, a certain process, as you can see noted down there at the bottom of the dial. And I'm digging it. I would like to see more of these for sure. Maybe some different options. They're going to continue making watches, obviously. So let's pop this on wrist so you can see what it looks like on my uh, about seven and a quarter. I tried to measure my wrist the other day, and I think I might actually be closer to a seven inch wrist. I don't know. So, but there it is. It's you know it's petite for for me for my liking. But it wears so good, you know. Ob, you know, one of the obvious things that you're noticing right off the, right off the bat here is there's no seconds hand on this one, so 
that might be a deal breaker for some people, but uh, it adds to the elegance, I think, of the watch, the simplicity of it, and more focus on the dial itself rather than a, a steady moving object above the dial. So the winding action on it is very nice. And I don't know if it hacks. I'm assuming the SW210 does, but how would you know anyway? So you can give her a nice wind. It feels like it's pretty much maxed out on wind. And then adjusting pops out, and then pretty easy to adjust the time. Nice nice feel to the, the operation of it as well, and it conceals nicely down into those crown guards. So big thanks to Neil for sending this in. I want to share with you real quick a couple other things it comes with. It comes with this, you know, the information that you're going to want when you purchase one. The authenticity also came with a handwritten note. Check that out. So that is pretty cool. That's always nice to see when you're buying high-end micro. And then this really nicely done packaging. This is not like, this is, I mean, there's a lot of packaging that comes like this, but this one's just nicer. It's a similar than what you'd see with a lot of other brands, but it is uh, of better quality, which is, I think, the whole experience you get with the brand. It's just, it might seem similar, like you've, you know, seen something similar to it, but this one's like the level above that. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next vid.